The coronavirus is spread around the world right now. Fever is one of the most important symptoms of the coronavirus. So we have to pay high attention to our body temperature every day. Usually, we measure our body temperature with a digital thermometer. But apparently, it's a big machine. It's inconvenient to carry such a big gun along with us every day. A few days ago, I stumbled upon a funny mobile phone with a function of body temperature measurement. Here it is. I have to admit it's really an amazing design. But does it work or is only a gimmick? Okay, now let Simon open the box. The packaging looks nice. The Pro Truly VR mobile phone. And here is the specification. The model is Pro Truly D7 and the color is champagne gold. The storage is 3GB RAM and 32GB ROM. Okay, we unbox now. We can see a big camera lens where we take off the cover. Oh, here is the mobile phone. <laughs> it's really big. It's very big and it looks, <laughs> honestly, it looks weird. <laughs> I check what's inside. Ah, the charger. And here is the cable and headphones. And here is the user manual. Okay, now let's, let's text the mobile phone. Turn on here. Power button. We have to wait a second. And here's a front camera and the rear camera. It looks the same size lens. Here is the flashlight. And this part, maybe it's for temperature maximum. Okay, it's okay now. Accept. Language. I take off the film. Let's choose English, United States. Next step, uh, select the wireless, skip. Okay, skip. Welcome to use for, to live out the live quality. Begin to use. Aha, uh -huh. here is the icon of the thermometer. I can't wait a second to text the temperature maximum function. Aha, uh -huh. we can see that the temperature is 22.56 Celsius degrees here and 72.6 Fahrenheit. Yes, it's accurate. It's the right temperature here. And we can see on the back side, there are two circles. The left one is a camera lens, and the right one 
is a spectrum. It looks like camera lens, but it's not. It's a um, infrared, infrared ray. Yes, infrared ray part here. Okay, now let me text about the temperature. I put my hand on the infrared ray part here. And we can see the temperature, the number is increasing. 34.4 Celsius degree. Uh, it's okay now. Yes. Here is the temperature of my hand. By measuring the temperature of my hand, I think the value is very close to the real value. The accuracy is very small. The error is acceptable, I think. And as you can see, the, the value changes every second. And if I lift my hands from the infrared part, it decreases suddenly. So when I max out the temperature of my body, I can't read the value while I'm showing this screen to the camera. So just now I max out the temperature of my head for three times. The average temperature value is around 36.3 Celsius degree. I think it's a really an accurate value. So the function is a really a good function and it's reliable. Now we have finished the text of the temperature maximum. And now we check other parts of the weird phone. <laughs> it's really a long screen. Actually, it's not a long screen. The screen is here. The size of the screen is 5.5 inch. And this part is maybe is so big because of the infrared ray part. Maybe I'm not sure. And it's much longer than the iPhone 10. Yes. And the fingerprint is on the back side. Let's talk about the camera. Take a photo. Focus here. Ah, it focuses very fast. <laughs> Compared to the iPhone 10. Ah, it, it, it's good. <laughs> from camera. Convert to the front. Mm -hmm. We have a test. Ah, it's not bad. <laughs> okay, so here is the Spexel mobile phone Pro Truly D7 with a Spexel function of temperature maximum. It looks nice.